This is Diablo in three minutes. Let's begin. Since the beginning of pretty much reality, the high heavens and the burning hells fight. A forever power struggle to consume everything, destroy everything, and begin again. A vicious cycle known as the Great Conflict. The three prime evils, Mephisto, Baal, and Diablo take part in the conflict. Diablo learns of Sanctuary and tells his brothers of the new world. But then Diablo betrays his brothers to become the sole ruler of heaven and hell. The Anjuris Council comes and traps Diablo in a soul stone. One member of the Anjuris Council, named Inarius, realizes the fighting will probably never stop. He escapes heaven, goes rogue, and finds Lilith, the daughter of the Lord of Hell. The two defectors find a relic that has the power to create worlds and make artifacts like the Soul Stones. With this world stone, Inarius and Lilith create Sanctuary, a distant world that serves as a refuge from the war. Over time, more and more tired angels and demons seek escape in Sanctuary. They fa uck and the creation of the first humans called Nephalim begins. Inarius and Lilith quickly notice how strong the half-angel, half-demon spawn can be. Inarius wants to kill them. Lilith sees the potential in the humans and wants to raise them to stop the great conflict once and for all. Inarius turns on Lilith, imprisoning her in the void. Humans flourish and spread throughout Sanctuary. Years later, King Leoric, the ruler of Condorus, holds the trapped soul of Diablo under his fortress. His archbishop decides, for whatever reason, that this won't do, so he smashes the soul stone and releases Diablo's spirit. Diablo tries to possess the king, but is unable to. Instead, it possesses the archbishop and uses him to kidnap the king's son. Then Diablo possesses the prince. A warrior makes his way and with the help of a sage, defeats Diablo. Believing he could handle anything and everything, the champion implants the soul stone of Diablo into his forehead and retires to sanctuary. Time passes and the champion goes mad due to the soul of Diablo trapped in his skull. He takes a Nephalim named Marius to the tomb of Talrasha, an ancient mage. He tricks Marius into pulling the soul stone from the chest of the mage. Tyrael, an agent of heaven, realizes what's happening and tries to stop the tormented champion. But he's too late. Marius releases the brother of Diablo, Bael. The Lord of destruction. The two demons overthrow Tyrael. Marius is tasked with destroying the renegade demons by Tyrael. Marius destroys Diablo, but Bale tracks Marius down to an asylum and disguises himself as Tyrael. Bale asks for the soul stone for Marius, but of course Marius doesn't fall for this. Oh wait, he does. God damn it! Bale kills Marius and burns the asylum. Tristram is left in despair. Tyrael is condemned for his actions and leaves the Andrus Council. Tristram is rebuilt. 20 years later, a new warrior enters the city. He learns through a woman named Leia that ultimately the Black Soul Stone is responsible for the unending terror that plagues Sanctuary. The warrior travels with Tyrael and Leah, killing and capturing the souls of three prime evils within the Soul Stone. Leah's mother, Adria, betrays the Nephalim and summons Diablo. The prime evil takes off towards heaven. The warrior goes to high heavens but is already under attack. They slay many demons and find the aspect of hope, an old chick who tells them how to close the Hell Rift. Approaching the portal, the warrior and friends close in on Diablo. They do battle. The main demon is destroyed and his soul is trapped in the Black Soul Stone. And that was the story of Diablo in three minutes. If you like this video, find that thumb somewhere on your screen you can hit. And if you want to see more content, hit subscribe. What?